that's uh, next episode, April 7th, 2017. Chestnut Bridge building project. Things are coming along. Got the, all of the window cutouts for the extra bonus room that we're building on. All of the roof is done. All of the exterior panels are done. So, see here, it's um, April, so you can see the amount of shade would get on this southern facing. Uh, this will be a screened in porch, so this will be really nice even in the summertime because the sun will probably be directly overhead. Um, shouldn't be very hot under there as you can see we have a, a white roof and then under the roof we have our eco foil double bubble insulation it's going to prevent the heat from coming down onto it um, let's see what else got this this all framed in this is going to be uh, this is a again a 12 by 24 and then this this area under the, where this door is at is going to be open so you don't have to go through any kind of screening part so this will be our screened in porch um so what else what else and while we don't have a front door this is what we plan to have as a front door so you walk into our house um and what has turned into the massive kitchen it was a large kitchen now it's the massive kitchen uh, you'll, you'll come in the door and uh, right here where this uh, window's at, right there, we'll start cabinets and cabinets will run all the way down. We've been measuring cabinets down to here, more cabinets right to all the way here. And this is a built-in pantry. Okay, I've not worked out HVAC yet. That's still a work in progress. We're going to have, we uh, miscalculated on our, um, where our, 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 um, our island is going to be, so we're going to have to move that pipe right there out, otherwise we're not, we wouldn't have enough room if our, if our island started right there, this is where the stove would be, which is about, See, it's about a foot and a half or so. That wouldn't be enough room to get turkey out of the stove. So we're going to move that back to here. It would give us a, about three feet. Uh, island size, I think it's going to be about six foot. So we aren't sure what we're going to do. This was going to be the living room, which we decided was going to be too small. So we might put a like a breakfast nook over here or a table or we don't know we're still going to put a tv up on this wall just to be able to stand in here while we're cooking and have the tv on and whatnot um this window really turned out pretty cool you'll come down the stairs and be able to see out over there so go upstairs now here this is going to be an open area so there's a bathroom right there a bedroom right here we have this open area it's all going to be here come around walk out onto the second story deck which is going to be pretty cool stand out here and overlook the place be a bedroom slash office right here be two these are southern facing windows right here and then a western facing larger window kind of got screwed on when we uh, tried to figure out this here these windows are only 48 inches tall they're supposed to be 54 but uh, the way the the design was and where our eve height is at as you can see couldn't make the window any higher because of the eave, um, I don't know what they call that, a purlin or whatever. It didn't work 
out. Something, take note, if you're gonna make one of these things, take note. And then secondly, um, take note that on the second floor here, <laughs> these window casings are like 18 inches. Uh, and the reason this is, is because there's nothing to hold up. Um, hold up the second floor because it had to be um, put onto that, onto this uh, support structure. So it's bolted onto that. So the second floor is bolted to the structure. This, this uh, piece right there. Second story bathroom, nice size. We'll have a double sink and the commode, which is uh, a little bit close, but that's okay. So within code, the guy said, so it works out. Window in the bathroom, always love having windows in the bathroom. issue because of the way the 18 we did 18 foot eave height which we were told by the manufacturer or the seller of the steel like oh 18 fine you'll have a eight foot ceiling well this is only seven foot something and then we had to have a uh, angle up in the bathroom and then then we get the eight foot there so that's an eight foot eight foot uh, tall in the main area but we do have that on both edges where the eave was miscalculated um, as that's the issue so just remember that I see a uh, mezzanine over the garage we do have enough space to add on this mezzanine is a 12 by um, 40 12 by 40 so we could technically um, all of the uh, all the plumbing stuff is going to be here air conditioning plumbing all that's going to be out here in this area we can take this and wall this off and make another room a giant bonus room and then we all, would also have enough to make um, some windows here if we wanted to we put like a long picture window along this thing if we wanted that would be pretty cool that's future futurism and then another guy says, well, if it was me, I would just take this mezzanine and put it out to that next column over there, and you could have even more. I'm like, well, I guess uh, some more things to think about in the future. So um, I'll have to build a, uh, a, uh, a guard along this thing where the leash is freaking out that it's people are falling off down into the concrete. Wouldn't be fun. Anyhow, let's see what else. Come along, we're coming along. Decided to do carpeting on the stairs, just trying to save some money on this stupid thing. Carpeting on the stairs. And then have it worked out. We were gonna do the polished concrete in in this area, which is like six dollars a square foot, polished and colored and stained and all on the you know, this is a thousand square feet, so six seven thousand bucks that probably doesn't sound very good we're gonna do carpeting in here because it's got the broom finish which just for noise and just having a nice carpet in the area we're gonna put it's gonna be actually commercial carpet and it'll be just glued glued to that uh let's see what else and then we haven't figured out flooring in here yet we're thinking maybe some kind of uh vinyl that new vinyl stuff they have is really cool. Oh, they thought we were just going to put a tub in here while well, we're putting an uh, actual shower. It's going to be a shower, so they had to do some cutting of concrete to um, account for the shower, because the shower only has a, a base that deep, whereas a tub would be, you know, six or eight inches deep where they could have fit it in there, right? They didn't work out as planned. And the other, the master bedroom downstairs as well, same size as the upstairs one. So, yeah.
Anyhow, I hope, uh, hope things are rock rocking and rolling. Hopefully we get uh, HVAC uh, taken care of. Uh, the plan for the HVAC is to um, put a put a a box that goes along this whole entire part that's going to contain the uh, HVAC. So it'll just be blowing out that way. And then my idea for coming to this other side of this crazy beam, if you build one of these and you got this beam, don't forget, I don't know why, just uh, this beam has just been the bane of our existence here. For some reason, the HVAC guy says he can't fit through that, through that opening there. So it's, he has to get on the other side of this so you have some heating and cooling. So we're gonna actually um, go back up here. I talked about them yesterday of taking HVAC up across this top part and then building a box right here that would then go down through the floor go down through the floor right there and then that gets us heating and air on that side of that beam so we have heating and air over here and then heating and air is easy to get to from over there because that's where it's coming from. Um, this was going to be a <coughs> downstairs. It was just going to be a little tiny closet, but this is going to be the return air handling area. But, uh, I don't know. We're getting there. Still, it seems like a lot of work to do. We're getting there. We are going to have a stove out here, or uh, we're going to have a secondary outdoor kitchen, you want to call it, a stove, and then we're going to have a sink that's over here. Well, we forgot to put drain for that, so we got to have to work on some issues with that. We're going to try to, don't tell codes, we're going to try to get it over there. Anyhow. <laughs> More plumbing. Plumbing's all coming in. And all that. Let's see how they went around that. And they actually built a. You can see that to come out from that beam. That beam even screwed us up on this, on this outdoor wall because we had to build this box, which is not a big deal, but um, it worked. <sighs> this is looking north. Until the next one, hope you all enjoy. We're coming into spring. There's some dogwoods blooming out in the woods. Trees are getting their leaves. So it won't be too long. There's a dogwood right there we can zoom in on. Beautiful day. Enjoy. <laughs>